Hi, it's me, Bam, and welcome back to the channel. Now, I know this video won't interest a lot of you, but right now we're going to look at some tweets that Steve has tweeted out on Twitter. For those of you guys that don't know, Steve is one of the lead developers at the joke streams for Warframe. And the reason why we're looking at some stuff that he tweeted out is because on the recent dev stream, he made a quote joke about, oh, it's not like new consoles are coming out soon and whatnot. So presumably, are the improvement that they're going to be making in the next whatever for Warframe on PC, them testing out this and that, is going to, um, you know, be testing so they can beef up Warframe or make it more compatible for the next gen consoles. I'm talking of course about the PlayStation 5, the Xbox One X, and the Xbox One S. No, Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S. Man, the naming conventions, am I right? Okay. Anyway, let's see what that one says. Heads up, PC Tenno. Rolling out new compression tech soon. Gradually, they're gradually rolling it out. Installed light maps, 11.2 gigabytes. Old, I mean, new oldie, um, new old RDO light maps, 6.6 .6 gigabytes. Okay. Now, basically, okay, here's also what it says. Um, this storage compression, not GPU loaded, this helped disk size and loading. Expect some download pain. Apologize for fall tech cleaning. And then, you know, he put this biffy gif here. Okay, so basically what this is doing, this is compressing storage, you know, to help the disk size overall. So apparently he done some sorcery my bobs. Okay, I'm I'm not a dev myself. Okay, well, I'm not a dev. I dabble a bit, but I don't really know uh, everything in the universe. Um. Now, anyway, he is almost half reduced it by almost half. So that's that's actually very good. Maybe. Maybe, I don't know, that could help with, you know, the new console that are coming out. Also, also, I would like to also note that they are getting rid of support for um, DirectX 10. Yeah, I believe it's Direct. X10. If I remember at the end of the video, we'll check and make sure it's direct X10. But anyway, we're not done because Steve actually made another tweet, which let's see. Okay, here we go. That's the other tweet. Last of Us two light probe rendering technique from Segraph is coming soon to Warframe. Old versus old versus coming. 
light probe dominant lighting direction per pixel using surface normal masking before was per object. So glossy reflections were missing on half the objects all the time. Okay, so let's look at the pictures, okay? This is before, this is after. You can see like the glossy there. Okay, let's see if you can see the glossy anywhere else. Now see, that looks a bit different there. Compared to there. Yeah, you can see that looks different as well. Ooh, do we see this here? Ah, okay, so this is here, but this is clearly a lot more prominent here than there. Okay, and then we know that the three, very important here, we know that it done better here. So yeah, and this is just actually a very good example about how Warframe evolves over time. You know, how Warframe changes. I know, I know Warframe I know what you're thinking. Vamp, of course, you would say that you like a Warframe fanboy or something. No, I'm not. I just, I just like Warframe, okay? And, you know, it evolving is, evolving is actually very good. It's changing. So, yeah, these are the changes, I guess, you could say. And, I mean, I, like I said, I'm speculating that this is um, change as a reaction to consoles, but the new consoles, but I don't know for sure. I do not know for sure. And don't worry, I didn't forget here's the thing about DirectX 10 support ending. It's not ending till January 2021, but it's still going to be ending. Changes are coming to Warframe. Warframe's minimum supported specs that will affect Tenno running DirectX 10. We hope to give you as much notice as possible. In 2018, we announced that Warframe's minimum supported specs were changing with an aim to make full use of the robust capabilities offered by DirectX 11. We want to make sure Warframe development is never limited especially when we consider feature DirectX versions. Adding visual feature like deferred rendering to our ever-evolving game and supporting new optimizations are possible because of these changes. Also, I, I want to mention that the new console will support ray tracing. So, you know, if Warframe wants to support that, I don't know. But yeah, these are, this is what we know so far about it. And then let's continue. On top of development quality and quality, Motivation. We want to make sure Warframe is stable and secure for players. Graphics card manufacturers have long since discontinued driver updates for DirectX 10 class cards as they focus on more modern hardware, such as the PS5 and the Xbox. Series S and Xbox Series X. Now, see, I paused there because 
me a note. It feature modern? I don't know. Whatever. Um, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Systems that are up to date and supported by companies that make them meet our security needs. To this end, to these ends, Warframe will be ending direct X10 support in January 2021. We'll continue to keep you posted as we approach this change. If you want to hear more feature, um, kind of voice acting type stuff I do, definitely check out my other YouTube channel. There will be a card top right hand corner as well as link in the description below. Okay, and with that said, I think I'm going to end the video here. Like I said, all the changes, I don't know if they're um, changing for the next gen consoles or not. I can only assume they are because that's what it seems like to me. I could be entirely wrong. Maybe Wolfram just magically decided that it was time for a full overhaul. But then again, you know, who knows? Definitely let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think the next-gen console play a role in this reasoning to change everything now? Or, you know, do you think, oh, it's just Warframe updating normally? Let me know. Comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the future. Later.